Extra, extra, read all about it. Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly, stop, my dog. It's, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Now, this is an energy reading, not a horoscope. So this is for Capricorn, wherever it influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies and these themes. Um, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Pull up a chair, this reading is still for you. There's always an extended reading. So please come on by. That's a full tarot card spread, which really susses out the details and gives specifics from this energy. And, in, and it, that includes your full romance and relationship messages, guidance, and reading. Um, last but not least, there's a new Capricorn video every single week. That's why they're called weeklies. It's not that this energy kind of dissipates after a specific time. No. In fact, there are so many Capricorn videos that I'm sure that you'll enjoy. You can just check out the week weekly Zodiac uh, playlist. Go ahead. But I make a new Capricorn video every single week, so you always have fresh content. So if you really love this uh, content, please do click subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll get the content as soon as I upload it. Yes, I do do personal readings. That information is also in the description box below. Hold on. Okay, so Capricorn, let's get to it. We're going to start with your crowning energy. Uh, it's already popping out. Uh, set healthy boundaries. Oh, okay. What? Wide ass open Capricorn. I mean, literally when this little guy is up on, like turned up on his head, it's cause he's, he's revealing his soft little underbelly. This is almost like, um, you know, set healthy boundaries has two sides to it. It has putting up boundaries that are too thick, you know, that are too high. And then it is those boundaries that are just all, there's no boundaries at all and there needs to be more set. This is that general position. So this is you probably dealing with a Cancerian, if not a Cancerian, maybe a water sign. There's just a sense of um, having to establish, sort of trying to figure out the healthy way to go about, like you, you want to let this energy in, but you also realize, at least on, on some level, that you could be making yourself a little bit too vulnerable or feel vulnerable. You may feel completely, utterly, absolutely exposed this week. Now, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. It could just be that, you know, you're exposing, <laughs> maybe you're exposing yourself right now. I mean, we, we do have a holiday coming up, let's face it. All I'm saying is there is maybe overexposure coming. Uh, with this energy or a, just a, a sense that you are maybe, I mean, throwing caution to the wind, devil may care, uh, uh, Capricorn, I, I don't even know you anymore. <sighs> I mean, whoa, this is, this is definitely leaving yourself kind of overexposed. I mean, a hundred, I mean, I, I would say a hundred percent. I would say a hundred percent leaving yourself overexposed. And you know what? I got a whole, but I got a whole bunch of cards that definitely needed to come out for you Two in particular. I'll show them to you. Whoa. Flipping out all over the place. I'll show you what's coming. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Lots of stuff flipping for you, man. Lots of stuff. All right. So two cards that I wanted to show you. These two that came out next. Okay. <laughs> so basically this is you all over the place. Wh when did you guys get all over the place? Like what, what happened? What's going on? Literally, this is like full on anti Capricorn energy, which is weird. Cause I believe Saturn's back in Cap Saturn's back in Capricorn. Maybe you just feel a lot more comfortable now. There's just this sense of feeling like you can let go a little bit because what really makes you clench and tense up is, you know, feeling like you're not in control, feeling like you're in a situation that is, is, is it's new to you. Um, but there's this there's this feeling of overexposure. Let me get into this card. Use your mind wisely. This is when pigs fly. So the impossible is happening right now. And you are totally Sagittarius. And it came out like this. So you may still be a little bit hesitant, but this is a sense of Icarus. Like think of that energy of just flying too close to the sun. No, this is the energy of flying right into the sun. But this would be this would be flying right into the sun. 
Just do it now, headlong. And this would be, nope, totally shut down. So right here, this is telling me, you, you feel, you almost feel invincible, but there is a little bit of a sense of maybe you're flying too close to the sun. Maybe you're moving too fast. I, do I feel this imminent threat of danger? I do not. But what I do feel is you going too fast for your own sense of practicality. Uh, right now, I feel like you're flying high. And I, I, I know that you like this feeling. You like this energy of um, kind of the wind in your hair and feeling a little bit of reckless abandon. There is definitely a lot of changes that are shifts that are happening to you, things that you never thought that you'd get into that you're getting into. Um, so it's a beautiful and experimental time for you. I don't, I don't think that this is a horrible time for you, but this does tend to be this sense of... Um, trying to be practical at a time when you really don't want to be uh lay a solid foundation this is virgo energy this there is future in this you know that whatever this energy is there's a future in this and it's almost like you're putting yourself into this uncomfortable energy in order to create something you almost know in other words whatever this beautiful opportunity is that do, it does this is a card that says there's long-term uh, potential here there's there's long-term um con not considerations but almost commitment there's a party that's almost said you're all in long term but this this is this is that part of you that says i have to take the risk that's that you're saying that this is this is actually part of laying a solid foundation is flying a little too close to the sun like the, in other words in order to take the path that I know that I'm meant to be on now, I'm, I gotta get hot. I gotta get a little close to the sun. Maybe I, I gotta go a little deeper than I thought, but it's worth it. That's what this card is telling me, that any of these risks and all of these improbabilities for your behavior right now, you have already vetted and weighed out. Happy birthday, Michelle Sanigate. Um, uh, you've, already, you've already vetted as something that is necessary so yeah there you are moving into a circumstance of necessary risk see the big it all it all adds up this is taurus energy so so this is like high taurus and this is moral more moral taurus energy spiritual taurus energy but remember taurus still rules the house of finances so there's a sense of yes this is that there is great potential here for making money a lot of potential but understand something capricorn you know your strong sense of connectivity to the spirit world tells you this isn't more than the money these are steps that i you have to take for the specific purpose of of going further in your life and making yourself happy so this kind of find this kind of gain worldly gain is more than finances could ever give you you understand and this is your central energy so you are plotting for the future and a happier broader um, more spiritually connected future there is so much potential here I I'm having a hard time articulating it maybe I just say it simply keep on this path because you're on the right one yes things are gonna get a little hot things are gonna get a little risky this is a necessary risk to build the future that you want to build Time for a deep dive. This is love. I like a million different ways this card can be used. It's always love. This is Libra energy, which is partnership. This is all about the partnership. La vie en rose. Like lovely, lovely, happy, happy, kissy, kissy, smoochy, smoochy. I want to be with you. This is this is love. So it could also represent bigger love, as in higher love, higher power love, connectivity to the higher power, connectivity to other parts of yourself. But love is connection, right? That's what love is. So this is all about really feeling deeply spiritually connected to all of the risks or the reasons why you're taking the risks now. Oh, I'm getting chills for you guys. Love is all around, but this is upside down. This is Gemini energy. Sometimes this is people talking about you or saying bad things about you, bullshit coming and spewing on you. I really just think that Gemini is 
is a little bit upside down right now simply because we are in mercury retrograde so there is a sense of communication errors and communication issues not maybe you're not hearing what you want to hear or you don't know how to say what you really want to say so expect that there will be a few lapses when it comes to if you have all these feelings inside of you and especially if you're dealing with a romantic situation where you feel that the person is has so many feelings inside of them you still the two of you still have to learn how to how to communicate with each other that's where the obstacles are going to be for right now just letting you know and then dream the world into being is in reverse, which means part of this is because demons from the past, like the zombies are going to come and try to get you. And maybe you don't want it. You don't want to expose this new opportunity to all the, no, no, no. These demons are going to come up from inside of you no matter what. And this is the perfect time to get it done and to tackle them so that it doesn't influence you, affect or infect you for the rest of your journey. Deal with these problems now, Capricorn. Feel very, very blessed that all of these issues in terms of what we've been through and decisions that we've made in the past about ourselves or about how much we can trust other people, all of those issues are going to be coming up and getting in your way. Why? Because you want them to come up now because you're inspired. You are totally inspired now to deal with those things that you have kept in their nice, tidy quarter for too long. But now it's all coming out and it's got to. It's got to because of this potential. It's got to because of the future that you're walking in. Be happy that it's coming out now. Your, your primary issues will definitely be in communication and struggling with past notions or concepts. You and Scorpio have that a lot in that it's almost like you dig your own graves and you sit in them and you make that what you are or what you base your future on. And this is all about confronting the zombies and burning them once and for all. Um, and once again, this is be loyal to what you love. This is grounding energy. So this is usually betrayal or someone hasn't been loyal. I think in this position, it's more you're, you're, you're not doing things the way that you normally would. You're trying things different. And then this is canary energy, sing your own song. So um, this is Gemini energy. For the longest time, you haven't let yourself be you. For the longest time, you have well, been very much Capricornian, but it's almost like you've been your own oppressor and overlord because there is a you deep inside of you that God gave you and that's the you that you haven't been celebrating and that you've been suppressing. Why? Because it wasn't practical and it didn't make any sense. And you know what, Capricorn? It doesn't have to make sense. You have a deep connection to your true calling and what it is that you really love out of life and you were, were suppressing it for a very long time. You were very, very unfair faithful to your soul song and that's where all the conflicts and complications are coming from because in order to protect yourself you locked yourself down in in things like practicality and common sense okay but that's not where your real soul lives your real soul lives you have to take risk you you have you, you like that's the only way you move forward that's the only way you live your soul purpose right you shut that down and the, re and the reason why the complications this week are going to come up is because they have to. They need to. They, they, three, three, three. Not only are you divinely protected, but you're divinely blessed, and this is the right time. just want to tell you that. Right, let me get back to this. Sing your own song and be loyal to what you love. You have not been loyal to your heart song. You've not been loyal to that, that voice deep inside of you. It's just, it, you've, you've cut it down, you've shut it down, and it wants to come out. And it's starting to sing again. And that's why all of this scaredness is happening. But at the same time, you want to be scared right now. You want to take this risk. And I really feel, mo at least for most of you, you're going to take this risk. You're going to take it. But what I don't want to see is you get discouraged because you have to deal with all this shit. Because this shit is going to come at you. Oh, it is. Because you have shut down that part of you that sings your own song for so long. That it's almost like the first time you pick up an instrument again and you start making cracked notes and flat notes and you, you, you forget your finger positions. 
you have to get that back into your sense of muscle memory again. But that's, when I tell you that's all it is, Capricorn, that's all it is. It's not a sign that you're not meant to be. You know that it's, it's meant to be. You know that it's meant to be. You can feel that shit deep down inside of you. That's why you're even allowing yourself to be in this discomfort to begin with. So you have to keep believing in it. Believing in this, this discomfort and knowing, and this is confirmed in the cards, that the discomfort is a part of the process. It's necessary. 1515. Some of you just may either met your soul purpose or you met your divine counterpart. So just know that the, the discomfort in the beginning is something that you have to get through because you're going to have to learn how to deal with discomfort in order to go the distance that you need to go. And gosh darn it, you need to go this distance this time around. That's not even a choice up in here. We're going to get further and deeper into tarot because of my phone and my setup. I mean, look, I'll do a little personal vlog for you, Capricorn. Look at this. I mean, all this craziness in my apartment. Like, this is how I'm living right now because I'm, I'm shipping over. See, I'm, not, I'm shipping cross country to California. I'm moving. So by August 15th, I will be a San Diego resident. So things are crazy right now, and I don't have the normal stands and every, all the equipment that I need right now. So that's why I can't flip around and show you the cards. Actually, you know what? I will because I'm not shuffling right now. Hold up. Hold up. We're going to get we're going to do this a little ghetto. Hold up. So I'm just going to hold the camera for a second and let you guys see that this central energy is very favorable to you. You know, it's this is Taurus energy. But what's the crowning energy? You know, feeling exposed, feeling overexposed is your crowning energy. But there's this divine, beautiful purpose in it that you know that it's the right thing to do. Why? Because giraffe can reach the higher leaves that nobody else can, le that can, can reach because they have that long neck and they can see above it all. So you understand now you're picking from the cream of the crop because you can see above it all, even though it means discomfort for you. And there will be discomfort, especially with shit coming out from the past that has to do with things that you never said but needed to say. Oh, it's coming. And it's all because at some point, at some point you were disloyal. That's the discomfort. And that's why you're facing this right now. You got disloyal to who you really are inside. Who you truly and completely are inside. You let them go. You abandoned them. And now you're coming back. And this, the discomfort is like when chains drop away from your wrists after you've been in prison for so long. At first it feels like it's ripping your skin off. At first it feels unsafe and the, the air is finally getting to that raw skin under those chains. And you know what? It feels like torment and torture in and of itself. It's not. It's called healing. And that's what you're going through. So I'm going to continue this with a full tarot card spread. Please do join me over there because that's where your love and romance reading is too. The link is in the description box below. Capricorn, I'll see you guys over there.